Hey, my name's Hyperity, and in order to make your server a little more fun today, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up proximity chat on your Minecraft server. And in order to accomplish this, we are going to be implementing a plugin called Scoice onto your Minecraft server. This plugin is very good, very easy to use, and in addition to that, links directly to Discord, which is something you're probably already using. But before we get started, I'm going to make sure you have all the required stuff to complete this tutorial, just so you don't get lost for nothing. First are the links in the video description, which will be right below this video, just so you don't have to memorize some crazy URL I put on the screen for 5 seconds. Secondly, it's going to be a Discord server and a Discord account, just so you can actually connect to the proximity chat. And the third is going to be a Spigot Minecraft server or a related fork that can run Spigot plugins. And if you got all that stuff, we're about ready to get started. But before we do, just in case you get lost at any point throughout this video, my Discord and Scoice's Discord is going to be linked in the video description. So you can join either one and we're going to make sure we help you out with whatever you need. Alright, now that we've got all the prerequisites, we can jump right into this tutorial. And the first thing we're going to want to do is navigate to the first link in the video description. We're going to be taken to Discord's developer portal. Once you're here, all you're going to need to do is create a new application. Give it a name. I'm going to name mine Proximity Chat. Uh, accept the terms of service and press create. Now that you've got your application created, you're going to need to navigate down to the bot tab over here on the right. Scroll on down and press reset token. Mine already says view token because I've already created the bot. You're going to need to enter some sort of authentication, whether it's your password or an authenticator code. But basically, you're going to get a long string of letters that looks like this. Now, I'm showing you this because I'm going to reset mine before I post this video. However, do not show anyone this code. Because if you do, they can control your Discord bot and pretty much hijack the Discord server you posted in. So be very careful with where you put this. Now that you've got your Discord bot, its very own token over here, you're going to want to scroll down here to Privileged Gateway Indents. All this one really means it's what your bot can or can't do. What we're going to do is we're just going to check all three of these and save the changes. It's going to take a second to save here, but once it does, we're going to head over to the OAuth2 tab. And over here, we're going to go to the OAuth2 URL generator, and from here, you're going to see these scopes. And you have a lot of things here, it may take you a second to find, but you're just going to press on the bot one right here. Now we're going to scroll down, and it's going to ask for permissions. We're just going to give our bot administrator. It's only going to be handling your proximity chat, so this just makes it very safe. And then from here, you're going to want to copy this URL. All right, now that we've got that link, we can navigate over to a new tab, paste that link in, and press enter. You're going to take it to a page that looks something like this. This is what you'll see when you add any Discord bot to any server. And you're going to scroll through here, add it to the server that you're looking for. So this is the one I'm going to use. You're going to press continue, and you're going to authorize that it will have administrator. Um, from here, you're just going to get a page that says success. And now if we navigate over to my Discord server, we can see that my bot has actually joined the server. And this is exactly what you see. You should see as well. It's not going to be online yet. We're going to get there in a second. All right. So now that your Discord bot is actually in your Discord server, we can go back over here and we're going to close out that tab. Now, the next thing we need to do is navigate to the second link in the video description. We're just going to get taken to this page right here. It's just where we're going to download the plugin that we're actually going to be using to control our Discord bot and actually make proximity chat work. All you got to do here is download this plugin just like this. Just save it to your downloads folder, I'd recommend. And now you've got that downloaded. Now that you've got your plugin downloaded, all you got to do is go over to your Minecraft server. I'm using Surf Hosting, which I would highly recommend to anyone looking for a server. If you are looking for a server, make sure to use my code on Surf Hosting's uh, checkout for 50% off your first month. Pretty great deal if I do say so myself. And on this panel here, you're going to go over to your plugins folder. No matter what your panel looks like, that's all going to be the same. Now that you're here, for me, I can just drag and drop my plugin in. But if you don't have that functionality, all you're really doing is adding this scores.jar to your plugins folder. And now that you've actually added that jar to the plugins folder, all you need to do is restart your Minecraft server. And when you actually do get to start your Minecraft server again, you're going to see a little something like token not set. Join your Minecraft server to set up Scoice. And this is exactly what you should see. Although it does say warn, this is absolutely something you should see. And now we're going to need to join our Minecraft server and actually set up the plugin. 
And one more final thing before we move on to actually configuring your plugin on your Minecraft server, you're going to go over to your public bot section on your Discord developer portal and make sure you turn this off and save your changes or else the Scoist bot will not work. When you join your Minecraft server for the first time here, you should see a message that says something like Scoist is not configured correctly. If you're seeing that, great, you're in the right spot. But if you're not seeing that, that means you don't have the proper permissions to actually set up SCOIS. In order to actually get those permissions, if it's your Minecraft server, just give yourself op. And if it's not your Minecraft server, talk to your system administrator and try and get those permissions. But we're going to assume that you do see this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do here is enter SCOIS configure into your terminal here. Now that you've got this, it's going to tell you to enter your, enter your bot's token. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do SCOIS token. And then in the space here, all you're going to want to do is go over to your Discord developer portal, copy this token, and paste it in over here. Now, if you've done everything right, it'll say your bot is attempting to connect. And then from here, it should let you know that your bot successfully connected after a little bit of waiting. And after a little bit of waiting, if you've done everything right, you should see proximity chat or whatever you've named your bot actually online in your server here. Now from here, we're gonna need to do a little more configuration actually in your Discord server. From here, do slash configure. And from here, you're just gonna run it and it's gonna start walking you through the configuration process. So from here, it's asking you which voice channel you would like people to join to use the proximity chat. Um, from here, I'm gonna use my SCOIS channel. You can use whatever you'd like here. This is what players will join initially when they're trying to play on proximity chat on your Minecraft server. From here, you can set this up however you'd like. This is just a pers like personal preference here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do long range for now. It's just how like it actually differentiates when the cutoff is, when you're close to people and when you're not close to people. And from here, it's actually set up. It's all ready to go. So now we should be able to use proximity chat. However, although the configuration is now done on the server side, you gotta set up each of your clients. And this is what all of your users who are actually gonna use proximity chat are going to have to do. So what you're gonna have to do is type slash link in your Discord server to link your Discord account to your Minecraft server. So what I'm gonna do here is type slash link. And I enter this. It's gonna wait a second because our bot's a little slow. But once it gets it, we're gonna do, it tells us here to type slash scois link and a code in the actual game to complete the linking process. And now I'm actually linked. So now that I've actually done this, um, this is something that all of your clients are actually gonna have to go through if they actually want to be able to do this. So make sure that you tell them how to do this, make a little instruction guide. It's not that complicated and it's really easy to do. And just to make sure your plugin's actually working, go ahead and try joining the channel that you selected to be like kind of the waiting room or the one you just selected over here to be to actually join the proximity chat. And it, once you do, if you've properly linked your account, it'll tell you that you're now connected to the proximity voice chat in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, from here, there's a little bit of need to know on how this plugin actually works. So for starters, whenever you're in a voice chat by yourself right now, you're going to see that you're muted and that's not by accident. What happens is whenever you go into range of another person on your Minecraft server, what's going to happen is it's going to put you in another voice chat with just those two people. If a third person comes in, it's going to put that in them in that same voice chat. If someone leaves, it's going to take you out of that one. And basically, whenever you get close enough to, close enough to another player, you're going to be put in that exact same voice chat. So yes, unfortunately, that does mean if you are looking for the fade out feature, like as, as you walk away from someone for their voice to fade out a little bit like it would in real life, that's not something that this plugin does handle. But I'm going to make a video on a plugin that does do this in the very near future. So if you're interested in that at all, make sure to subscribe and join my Discord server for notifications when that comes out. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. I really hope I helped you guys out and maybe made your Minecraft server a little more fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.